G.I. and Child, Vietnam, 1967. At first glance, this photograph shows an American soldier with a Vietnamese girl, aged perhaps six or seven years old, sitting on his knee. The pair are sitting in the shelter of a building, the wooden paneling and the corner of a window visible behind them. The light source, daylight, is coming from the right of the picture. The photograph is taken from slightly below their eye level. Further inspection reveals far more. Neither one is smiling or expressing any other emotion, merely unease in front of the camera. The soldier is in combat fatigues but bareheaded. A dark line across his forehead suggests the outline of his helmet. He is aged about 30, unshaven, wears a wedding ring on his left hand, and has piercing blue or gray eyes. Both he and the girl are looking straight at the camera. His age and a battered staff sergeant's collar insignia, three chevrons with an arc underneath, on his right lapel, indicate that he is a career soldier rather than a conscript. The flap of the soldier's right breast pocket is unfastened and protruding can be seen part of a photograph, slightly crumpled and hastily placed in the pocket upside down. From the visible portion, the bottom of the picture, can be discerned a mouth and chin, indicating that the photograph is a portrait. On the left arm of his tunic, directly behind the girl's left ear, can be seen the octofoil insignia used by the 9th Infantry Division. The girl wears two earrings and sits on the soldier's knee, looking impassively at the camera. Her hands are clasped together between her knees. She is wearing trousers of a cloth with a narrow stripe design and a blouse on which Southeast Asian designs are visible. Originally shot in color, Philip Jones Griffith's filing system indicates that the film was shot in 1967 and was the 39th story he photographed that year. In all, he shot 44 stories in 1967. Therefore, we can extrapolate that this story dates from late 1967. The background of the photo starts with the arrival of the sergeant's unit in Vietnam in February 1967. The 9th Infantry Division was introduced in the Mekong Delta as part of Operation Coronado, an attempt to dismantle communist strongholds in the area, including psychological operations to win the hearts and minds of the people. Philip Jones Griffiths always had more than one camera around his neck when at work, so the scenario was also photographed on another film, 67, 39, 4, where it occupies three frames, but shot with a wide-angle lens. In these, more detail is apparent. The Marine has a cigarette in his right hand in the first frame, and his weapon, an M79 grenade launcher, is laid behind him on the floor in all three frames. Is the soldier homesick and trying to recreate the kind of relationship he has at home with his own family? Has he shown her the picture in his breast pocket? Is he trying to befriend her because he's under orders to do so, or acting on his own instincts? Is this their first encounter, or are they known to each other already? Adjacent frames show other soldiers from this unit appear to be on good terms with the community. They show soldiers inside a house. On the table can be seen a U.S. Army ration pack, evidence of a gift or a trade. In other shots, one of the soldiers is sketching the inhabitants. In another, they are seen eating. In Vietnam Inc., this image occupies the whole of the right-hand page opposite the introduction. Its placement there is symbolic and deliberate. The introduction of the book deals with the relationship between America, big, brutal, industrial, militarized, and Vietnam, smaller, vulnerable, agrarian, innocent. In every sense, the two sitters are opposites, male, female, powerful, powerless, old, young, innocent, worldly wise, close-cropped hair, long-haired, smooth-skinned, unshaven. By extrapolation, we are to see the two countries and their cultures as opposites. Griffiths uses this image to make a further point by using a contrasting image on the next page of Vietnam Inc. of a carefree and smiling young woman holding a scythe surrounded by lush vegetation, indicating a happier, self-sufficient rural idyll without interference from outside forces. In other words, he is contrasting an unhappy dependency on America against a happy, self-sufficient, independent Vietnam. Although the photo is essentially a grab shot and that the photographer has not sought to arrange the picture, 
the composition deserves consideration, as it contains many elements of Christian imagery. In particular, there are similarities to many Madonna and child religious icons. So was this a deliberate attempt to use a composition familiar in Christian imagery in order to raise a number of questions about the Vietnam War? Obviously, the sexes have been reversed. The Madonna has been replaced by a male, infant Jesus by a female. In Christianity, Madonna is the protector of the infant Jesus. In this respect, is Philip Jones Griffiths implying a partial role reversal and that the soldier is there to protect the child and by inference Vietnam? Or are the roles completely reversed and is he there to oppress and subjugate the child and by inference Vietnam? <laughs>